Hey you guys, it's Jessica here. My username is Jessica Expanded, and today is Thursday, April 11th, 2013. And I'm here to do my weekly update, um, except I did most of my update yesterday in my other video. Um, I weighed in today at 173. So that's the same as last week, same as the week before that, same as the week before that, and pretty much for the past like two months. I've been the same. So my body is really liking it around 170, 173. Uh, so we will see. Um, I think with my new medication as well as my new lifestyle changes, hopefully um, I'll get past this plateau and I'll feel better and healthier. And I will lose some weight, hopefully. Um, I still have about any anywhere between 20 and 40 pounds more that I would like to lose. Anyway, I am here today to do a video about my juicing. Um, I posted some pictures on Instagram and on, um, on my Facebook about them and people have been asking, so I thought I would do a video. I was going to do a video on iMovie and do all the editing and get it all together and and do a really nice video but I just don't have time for that and I don't really know how to do it <laughs> either I tried and it just wasn't working out so I decided to start over and just do a, a kind of a quick overview and if you have any specific questions um, or if what I say, say doesn't make sense just let me know so anyway I am going to show you <laughs> how to juice, kind of the basics, and then also how to store your juice in the freezer for the week. Now, a lot of people say that absolutely not, you cannot freeze your juice, you have to drink it right away. And I agree that it is best to juice as you go. But for me, being a very busy person, I just can't do that. And I figure it's better to um, it's better to juice and freeze them and drink them day by day within the week than to not do it at all. So um, if you don't agree with that, that's fine. Don't do it. But for me, it's working out really well. Um, so that's that. Also... If you guys don't have a juicer yet, I would highly, highly recommend that you get a masticating juicer. Um, mine is right over there. It's that white thing that looks like a dinosaur. That is my Omega masticating juicer. Um, or a press juicer would be okay as well. Um, but that works better with citrus. Um, the masticating juicer works for everything. Now the difference between a masticating juicer and a centrifugal juicer is that a centrifugal juicer is one of those upright juicers like the Jack LaLanne or um, just the ones that you see all the time and they stand upright, they save space, um, but they're not as good for you. You don't get as many of the nutrients and you also don't get as much juice out of them. So the centrifugal juicer, it will cut up all of the fruit, basically, and then spin it around in circles um, to, to just um, extract the juice. What a masticating juicer does is it crushes everything and, uh, like, pulverizes it, and then it, um, and then it extracts the juice from that. Um, so you're getting more of the fruit, more of the nutrients, more juice, um, and you can use the whole entire fruit. Also, the centrifugal juicer really doesn't work well with lettuces, wheatgrass, kale, beet greens, like any of that kind of stuff, which is really, really good for you. Um, it doesn't work very well because all it does is chop it up and you don't get juice out of a lettuce leaf if you just chop it, you know? So um, this works really well for that. So I would highly recommend it, especially if you are going to freeze it because 
then you have the extra nutrients and some of them will diminish the longer you store it, but you're starting out with much more than you would with the other uh, juicer. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so I guess I'll <laughs> move on to the next topic. So what you're going to need to um, store your juice is mason jars. I buy a pint mason jar, so that's two cups, 16 ounces. Um, on here it says like it has measurements and the last line is 12 ounces. Anyway, so you need these. Um, I bought 12 for like $11. So um, that's pretty good. And you'll also need whatever produce you want to use and you'll need a juicer. You'll also need like a big, um, you know, thing, one of these, a big one, because um, you will need it if you're making big batches. Okay, so I'm gonna move you over to where the juicer is. Please, I'm, I'm not very good at this, so just bear with me here. Okay juicer, these things, plug that guy in, okay, so you'll have these buckets, you'll have two of them, you put the strainer over the one, and that's where the juice comes out at the first hole, and then the second one is where the pulp will come out in the second one, so if you're making big batches, the juice will fill this up and then you just dump the juice into here. Dump it, okay? And anyway, that's basically all it is. So you just turn it on and then you'll put the fruit or vegetables in here and you push it down, okay? Pretty simple. Um, you have to make sure you cut up the, oh my gosh, my kitchen is such a mess. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, you have to cut up the fruit or vegetables um, in small enough pieces. An apple, you can use the whole entire apple. Everything. You just stick it in. Um, citrus fruit, limes, lemons, oranges, grapefruits you peel off the rind. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So um, what you're going to do is make your juices. For me today, I'm making four different juices because I'm actually juicing from myself and my mom. So I'm making a lot. Um, I'm making a tomato vegetable juice, kind of like a V8. Um, and I'm making a beet-based juice, a green juice, and a carrot-based juice. Um, I'll post the recipes down below, but basically you can use whatever you want, like, and it'll taste good <laughs> most of the time. So, um, you will, uh... I like to use mostly vegetables. I'll use mostly vegetables and then I'll add the fruit for sweetness. Um, you have to keep in mind that vegetables are going to be less in sugar, um, whereas like apples, oranges, all fruit is higher in sugar. So you don't want to make a, a juice that's just apple juice. That's like a ton of sugar. Like you might as well add the the um, veggies in there because that's what you're trying to get in, you know. Um, you can eat an apple, you know, if you want. But um, to get all the good nutrients of vegetables, you're not going to sit there and eat like 10 plates of kale, you know. So that's what I use the juice for is to get like 
those veggie nutrients, you know? Anyway, um, I'm not sure where to go from here. <laughs> so, oh, okay, so you make the juice and then you fill this up to the 12 ounces. And from there, you'll add water almost all the way to the top. Um, the water doesn't water it down. Juice is really strong. Um, so the water actually makes it kind of nice um, and lighter. Um, and it also gives you more. So you fill, fill it to 12 and then up with the water. If you don't have quite enough to fill every jar to the 12, then just fill it less and add water. You know, it's, it's fine. Um, and then you'll close it and put it directly in the freezer um, and keep it there. You do not want to expose your uh, juice to any extra sunlight. Um, so you put it directly in there and just don't, don't touch it until you're going to drink it. Um, the night before you want to drink it, put it in the, um, in the refrigerator and then you'll take it out and it's all frozen and shake it up. And then, um, and then if you want to bring it to work or something, like I'll, wake up, I'll drink a juice, but then I'll bring one to work with me. Make sure you put it in a paper bag, um, a brown paper bag, so you're not exposing it to the sunlight. And then by the time you drink it, it'll, you know, the ice will be melted. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Um, it saves a lot of time. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. There's so much information about juicing. Um, Okay, so what else should I tell you? So that's how you store it. Um, some people like to fill it all the way to the top, which is probably better because you're exposing it to less air. Um, but when you freeze it, it kind of expands. The glass might crack. And then when you open it in the morning, it'll like get all over the place. So you do what you can, <laughs> you know? Anyway, so... Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah. Okay. So what I've been doing and what I've done in the past is, so I'll eat four times a day, four, maybe five, but mostly four, four times a day. Two of those times I'm going to drink juice, one or two, depending. So one or two of those times I'm going to drink juice. It doesn't matter if it's a snack or if it's a meal. I like to do kind of the juice for breakfast, eat lunch, juice for a snack, eat dinner. That's what I like to do. Um, the juice ends up like one of these jars, the 12 ounces of juice with the water, ends up being anywhere between 100 and 200 calories. Um, of just juice. And then what I do is I add um, unflavored isopure, which is um, protein powder. So that ends up being um, one of those with the, it ends up being about 300 calories. So um, if you want more exact um, nutritional value, you can go to myphytos.com. It's M Y p h y t o s dot com um and it you can actually calculate like each juice that you make and you can save them so and you can say if you liked them or if you didn't like them and things like that so that's a really neat um it's a really neat uh um website to go to i really like it so that's about that. Um, just a few tips as far as the actual juice goes and flavors and everything. Um, for the beets, beets are really, really good for you, especially when you juice them. But make sure you scrub them because they, they're dirty <laughs> and they naturally taste like dirt. So 
uh, you don't want the extra dirt in there. <laughs> so really um, scrub, scrub, scrub those. Um, you can also juice the beet greens um, is totally fine. You know, the stuff that comes off the top. And uh, if you're not used to drinking or eating beets, um, I would recommend starting with little pieces and you'll drink it and you'll be like, well, that tastes kind of weird. It tastes like a garden. And then you can add more because I don't necessarily think they taste amazing, but they have this thing where like you drink it and you're like, that doesn't taste good. But then you like keep drinking it because it's like your body likes it. Like it's, it tastes so healthy. So it's an acquired taste. So I would start off with little pieces at a time and then eventually you'll get to juicing like whole beets and um, you'll like it. Also, don't be scared when you use the restroom a few days after you juice beets um, because it makes your poo red and it looks like you're bleeding to death. Sorry to be graphic, but it scares the crap out of you because you're like, sometimes you don't even realize what, what it is, but that's what it is. Um, and sometimes a lot of greens will do the same thing. It'll make it green. So, you know, sorry, <laughs> but it's true. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any specific questions or you want me to show you something specific uh, please let you know let me know I'm sorry that I am not technically savvy enough to make a nice video for you guys and like actually show you how to use the juicer and everything so um, just let me know okay I hope everyone has a great day and I will talk to you later